Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I recently got a warning from my Synology. I logged in the other day and got this warning saying that I had a drive that was that was no good anymore. So I thought just we would take just a few minutes in this video to go through the process of swapping out that drive and and getting all of the data resynchronized and scrubbed and that sort of thing. So uh, without too much of an introduction, let's just jump in and get this taken care of. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just a quick video, uh, something I ran into recently when I tried to log in to my Synology device, uh, popped up this, this page right here saying, hey, there's a problem with disk number four. Uh, so we take a look. It's no good, it's critical. There's definitely something wrong. Sorry of all the noise, there's stuff going on behind, on all, either sides of the house here. Anyway, um, so drive four, drive four appears to be boned. I haven't taken it out and done any testing with it yet, but it hasn't reached critical mass here. So uh, what I've done, and I know, I know that this is gonna piss off some people and I don't know what to tell you about it. Oops. There we go. Uh, so I picked up I picked up this uh, refurbished drive from a seller on eBay called Go Hard Drive. I've bought several drives from them in the, in the, over the years, and uh, this comes with a five year warranty on it, and it is eight terabytes. Uh, it just showed up in the mail today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that opened up, and I'm gonna swap out uh, the drive number four in the Synology behind me to to replace it with this new refurb drive. Um, and uh, see what the process looks like to rebuild the array. Okay, so here is here is the server rack. I'm just gonna pop this open like so. And then we're gonna go one, two, three. It's this one right here. So I've got my little keys right there. Somehow, I'm gonna, there it goes. I'm just gonna pop that out like so. And this, this appears to be our offending drive. So we're gonna put that right there. Okay, so this is the drive that's having issues based on what I was able to see. And this is the drive we're gonna replace it with. So I'm just gonna come over, pop these out like so. Maybe. Maybe, come on, why? Man. Pull, it says pull right there. So there it goes. All right, so this, this is the eight terabyte uh, Seagate Exos drive that uh, Synology sent over when they uh, when they sent the Synology DS sixteen twenty one XS plus, and it's been rock solid since I've had it for years. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that drive is apparently dying or dead or something, and this this is really my only option based on. Uh, my current financial situation, I just don't have the money to replace it with, with another one of these. These are expensive. So that should be that. You can put this back in here, like so. And like so. There we go. Okay, so now we've taken this drive out. We put this drive back in the tray here. So let's come back over to there, like so. We're just gonna slot this in. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna worry about locking that because I can lock it later when I can use both hands, but the drive is in there now. Oops, geez. And then we're gonna come back over to here and rebuild the array. So I was a little slow on getting, uh, getting the screen recording here, but here we can see that now we've got, uh, this drive four is healthy. Um, let's come back, let's close this. Let's go back to our overview. Okay, this is good. So please go to the storage page, refer to the suggestion before or of the corresponding pool, great. Volume one, all of this is healthy, um, degraded. I feel like somewhere in here, global settings, I feel like there should be a... Okay, so uh, pff, I've never had to do this. This is learning for me, but uh, basically, what I need to do is come right up to here. I Googled it right there and repair. Cool, all of one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna add that back over. Uh, let's see, please pull one. Please drag one drive to repair. Dragging the drive, there it goes. Okay, there we go. Cool, now we're gonna click next. Please note. Not listed in the compatible Synology. Yeah, I understand that. I, I don't. I don't have the money that they they require for these drives. So, um, 
If look, if 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 Synology wants to hook me up with an eight terabyte Exos drive to replace the one that died, cool. If if Seagate wants to send me an eight terabyte drive to repair to repair this, cool. But in the meantime, I got to do what I got to do here. I got no other options, so this is what we're gonna do. And okay, we're gonna say great. We're gonna say apply. All the data on the newly added drive will be erased. Are you sure you want to con Yes, this is a brand new drive for me. I click OK. And now it just says repairing, waiting. So I, I guess, OK, initializing the drive. Again, this is all new to me. I've never actually had to do this. I don't, I don't know what this process is actually going to look like. Um, but it seems like it's initializing fairly well. Holy poop. All right, repairing this, and this is with fast repair turned on. Holy crap. All right, so this this might be a little while. I guess we'll come back and uh, take a look at this uh, when this number when this number is zero. Um, cool. Okay, guys, so it is currently uh, 7.13 p.m. And uh, the last segment that we looked at here was at 12, let's call it 12.56. So it's been, about six hours uh, since our last little check-in here, uh, and we are currently at 49.76%. So this is gonna take another approximately seven, seven and a half hours to complete. Um, and that's gonna put it at like three or four o'clock in the morning. And I don't plan on being awake when that is when that time arrives. So uh, that's where we're gonna leave it for this evening for this part of the video anyway. Not that it matters because the next part's gonna be like right now. But um, yeah, so it's gonna finish in the middle of the night. We'll come back, we'll check it and uh, we'll see what's going on at that point. Okay, so uh, it's now like 10 o'clock in the morning uh, the following day. And I actually checked at like eight o'clock this morning and then got sidetracked, but here we are. Uh, it's now about 10 o'clock in the morning uh, and it looks like this actually didn't finish uh, until 7.56 this morning. It took a few hours longer than expected, but uh, it completed, everything is good to go. Um, so yeah, that looks like the process that is involved in replacing a hard drive and a Synology NAS uh, when you want to have one crap out. Again, uh, I know that uh, I had I had an Exos drive in there. That's what it was shipped to me with. It was actually six of these eight terabyte Exos drives. Um, I didn't have Exos money, so I put a refurbished uh, HGST in there from a brand that I've used several times in the past for other projects with, and it, it seems to have worked just fine despite the little, uh, the little like warning of, Hey, we don't recommend this drive and maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, and that is the process that I went through to get, uh, to get this drive replaced and, and get all of the data resynchronized and scrubbed and the whole bit. Uh, I do think though, I need to set up, um, data scrubbing. I think I still need to schedule that. I noticed that it hadn't been done in a couple of years. And I need to fix that, but I'm not gonna do it on this video. But uh, thank you so much for, for checking out this video. I really do appreciate that. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, uh, you can do that real cheap. Uh, you can either uh, like and subscribe or for as little as a dollar a month, you can head over to Patreon, uh, become a, a, a patron over there, like I said, for a dollar a month, get ad free access to my content uh, when that's available. So uh, with that said, I wanna thank you again for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. And I'll talk to you in the next video.